I'm John McQuay with 8541 Tactical, and this is Mail Call Mondays, the show that answers your questions about precision rifles, optics, and equipment. Well, today's show is going to be rather short, and the reason why is because as I tried to come up with topics for this week's show, my mind kept wandering back to the events that occurred earlier in this week. Of course, I'm talking about the tragic school shooting in Connecticut. I'm going to try to keep this short because otherwise it's going to turn into a long, drawn-out rant from me, and that just isn't beneficial to anybody. I want to address a couple of things, first of all. If you are able to carry a firearm in your jurisdiction, if you're legally authorized to do so, please seek out training, make sure you have the skills and equipment available, and carry your firearm. Time and time again, we see active shooters arise in businesses or public places, and we see armed citizens address the threat and solve the problem. Police cannot respond fast enough to stop a murderous spree. If you are able to carry a weapon and you don't, the greatest hell I can think of is going through the rest of your life realizing that you could have stopped a mass murder, but because you were too lazy, too tired, or just didn't feel like it on that day, you didn't bring the tools that you needed to be able to stop the murder. So, if you're able to do so, seek out the training, carry the tools, and be able to stop a threat if it shows up. Now, I will be honest, it's a very, very slim possibility that will happen to you. But, if it does happen to you, you want to be able to solve the problem. You want to be able to protect your family, your friends, and those citizens around you. So please, if you're able to do so, carry your weapon. If you are a police officer, there is absolutely no excuse for you not carrying a weapon off duty. You already have the training. You already have the equipment. Bring your weapon. Now, when we look at school shootings, we have a distinct problem here because in most jurisdictions, armed citizens are not allowed on school premises. It's restic restricted to police officers only. This, of course, causes us a serious problem because a murderous nut job does not care what the laws are. He doesn't care that it's a gun-free zone. In fact, if they're thinking clearly, as clear as you can, being a psychopath, they're going to realize that a gun-free zone is an extremely soft target and is going to offer minimal resistance if they're armed. So, what do we do about that? I would really like to see a program instituted like pilots got after 9-11 where selected teachers could volunteer and seek out training and be authorized to carry a concealed weapon on the premises. That would be absolutely great in my mind. Um, in fact, I would even be for the school board paying them an extra stipend just to be able to carry the weapon, upkeep their training, and keep the proper equipment to keep that secured on their person. I would also like to see an armed security person in each school. Now, some jurisdictions have school resource officers. They're actually trained police officers that rotate between schools or assigned to schools. Um, generally, though, in most of the jurisdictions that I've seen, there are not enough school resource officers. They don't get to spend the full school day at each school, and some of them are required to rotate through several different schools. In fact, some jurisdictions may have only one school resource officer to cover all of their schools. So therein lies the problem because you still have response time. If you have armed teachers on premises and you have several of them, then they can be trained to work together to engage in armed response and if not eliminate the threat to at least delay the threat and pin it down until trained SWAT team members or trained law enforcement can arrive to deal with the issue. Now that I'm sure is going to be a hotly debated topic. Uh, we posted a picture from Israel of a either a volunteer or a teacher carrying an M1 carbine strapped across her back on an outing with her class, and that brought up a whole lot of comments. You can go on our Facebook page and uh, check that out and see some of the comments. They range from all sides, from gun owners saying, yeah, that's a great idea, we should do that here in the U.S., to teachers and anti-gunners saying, no, we don't want guns in schools. Uh, we actually had several teachers say that 
oh, I don't want guns in my school because I'd be afraid the students would jump on me and take it away from me. That is a serious problem. If you have teachers that believe that their students would attack them and take a firearm away from them, we have some serious problems, America. So I really, obviously I don't want to force everyone to be armed. That's everyone does not have the mental capacity to be able to look at another human being who is a violent threat to them and take their life. But most of us out there who have any military law enforcement background or just understand the inner workings of the human mind realize that if someone is attacking you, you have a choice. You fight back or you die. And I, for one, really do not want to die at the hands of another. So that's what we look at now. Um, I'm not going to get into the, the society changes that need to be made. Uh, we have some serious, serious problems as an American society right now. Uh, we have some serious problems with the way we teach our children. We have some serious problems with what we let our children get away with. And we have even greater problems when they grow into adults and think they can get away with the same things. So I'm not going to delve into what kind of changes we need to make as parents. In fact, I'm pretty sure that most of you that are watching this actually have a pretty good handle on your kids at home. Um, the demographic that I'm talking to is not the demographic that really is the problem, I think. Now, I really don't have all the answers. I would like to see someone at each school able to provide an armed response, but I want trained people at schools to be able to provide an armed response. I don't want untrained people running around schools with firearms. Um, we see accidents in gun stores, we see accidents on range, and rather it's negligence or just ignorance. Um, that's not something I want occurring inside a school filled with children. So training is absolutely, absolutely paramount. I have no problems with personal protection permit owners or um, concealed carry permit holders carrying on school premises if they've been properly trained in the safe handling of a firearm and if they are skilled in the use of the firearm because the last thing I want to see is a school shooting where an attacker was eliminated but 12 children were killed by friendly fire because friendly fire ain't friendly. So it's really, there isn't a simple solution to this. If there's a good guy with a gun and he knows how to use it, I would prefer that good guy with the gun be in between the bad guy and the children when the wolf comes to call. We need to do something about this. Now, the anti-gunners, of course, they think that the answer is more gun legislation. You and I know that's not the case because criminals don't care about laws. Criminals will continue to disobey laws. And if you're bent on a murderous rampage, uh, you probably don't have any intent to live past that event. So the penalties of doing so really don't matter. Plus, I have yet to see any state that has instituted a higher penalty for illegal possession of a firearm than for murder. So murder is going to be your highest crime there. So if your intent is to commit murder, why do gun laws matter at all? So more gun laws really are not the answer. It's not going to solve it. What we need to figure out is how to equip the good guys to fight the bad guys. Because there will always be bad guys. The bad guys will always be able to find weapons. And the bad guys will generally want to hurt the good guys. So your only option is to train and equip the good guys to handle the problem. Now, that's my opinion. I want to hear your opinion, so please leave it in the comments section below or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button. If you're a subscriber, thank you. If you're not a subscriber, please click that subscription button. It doesn't cost you anything. We won't send you a junk mail and YouTube will let you know when we release new videos. Until next week, get out and shoot!